Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how to put together one of our new thickly grow poles. They have been amazing so far. I've been loving the plants that I've been putting on them. I've been experimenting with different substrates in them. And yeah, I thought being a new product, I would film a quick little video of how you actually put these together. So if you can see, there is two lines down the side of the mesh. This is where you are going to fold. So you just gently fold down these lines like so on both sides. So like that and then you do the other side. like that so you'll get something that looks like this and then these tabs on the back I'm trying to like not get it to focus on my face so there is a slot on one side and then there is your arrow tab on the other side so these arrow tabs slot into the slits on the other side like so so you do that all the way down the pole. The little trick I've sort of figured out is you sort of slot or push one end of the arrow in first. And then you can push the other end of the arrow in afterwards. like so so you can see all the arrows are s clicked into the slots that is what it looks like there and then that is the front of the pole so super simple super quick to construct storing them they store nice and flat they take up very minimal room and the good thing about these is that everything is all in one like there's no separate pieces that you need to put all together these are super quick super sturdy on the bottom here there are these two little tabs and these are what they call the soil tabs so when you put this in the soil you gently fold these out a little bit like that and then when you pot up your plant the soil will obviously sit down on here and it'll help keep your pole really stable in the pot. I have an example I can show you. I don't know how well you can see, but you can see the tab there. And then there's the other tab there. So it just helps keep the pole really sturdy and secure in the pot. And on the top of the pole, You'll notice there are these two little tabs. When you extend your pole, these little tabs interlock into the soil tabs. I will show you on my Monstera Peru. So I have the crystal clear ones on here, so it's going to be a little bit hard to see. But you can see there's the soil tab, and you can see the little um, anchor flap there holding them together so they're really secure once they're extended so yeah that is how you construct your thickly grow pole so far I am absolutely loving them they are reusable so you can reuse them over and over again um, they have the new improved long holes in them so it's easier to remove your plants roots if you ever want to take the plant off these Growing poles I found are really good for propagating your plants because as they grow all the aerial roots will root into the substrate that you have into your pole. So if you ever want to propagate your plant 
you can literally cut at any node it's already rooted for you it takes the guesswork out of propagation you can literally cut your plant up and then pop them up as individual cuttings straight away which I really like so they sit at 40 centimeters high you can extend them as you need to so yeah that is how you construct one of our new growth thickly poles as I said in my previous video, um, the day in the life, I said I was going to do a full video on comparing different pole types. That is still in the works, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video. I'm going to have every sort of pole imaginable in it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this little video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!